Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. And today's workout is all about the kettlebell. So I'm going to use my 10 pound, 10 pound, let's see if I can talk, kettlebell. And if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a free weight. If you don't want to use anything, you can just go through the motions with your body, which is completely fine. This is about you and that's the most important thing. You got this guys. Just a little bit about the kettlebell swing and how you would switch over to the dumbbell. Um, I always like to go over the swings just to know all the power comes from the hip and it's all about the hinge, okay? So when you're coming into a swing position, you're powering through the hip, you're hinging back, and you're squeezing the glutes at the top. So it's like a little bit of a pop at the top. Squeeze and squeeze, squeeze, okay? So that power is through the hip. You've always got that nice hinge back, really long spine, drive through the hips, okay? Same thing with that dumbbell. You'd be using it with both hands, and double grip, swing through, swing through, good hinge, good hinge, okay? So nice neutral spine position. So same thing, you've got that hinge back, you've got that drive from the glutes. I will be working with some lateral movements also. Just remember the power through the hip, okay? So again, whatever's comfortable for you, the free weight, the kettlebell, just your body weight. Let's do this, let's have some fun. Let's go guys, oh yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna use a dowel for part of my warm up today, okay? If you don't have one, all you gotta do is pretend you're holding on to something or find a towel where you can keep tension on that towel, okay? So we're just gonna open and close. So again, really focus on not popping those ribs, keeping everything nice and strong. You got it. And just taking it where you're comfortable. You guys are awesome. All right, four more. Three. Last two, just opening everything up. Last one, now set it in. We're gonna do a little rotation through that T-spine. Oh yes. Here we go. Eight more. Seven, this always feels so good. Six. Five, oh yeah. Four more. Three, so make sure you're just taking it to where you're comfortable. Are you ready? Give me a little hinge from the hip. So hinge from the hip and back. So shooting those hips back, again, to the opposite side of the room, keeping that spine nice and neutral, tucking that chin in. You got it, you guys, you're awesome. I'm gonna go four more slow, then I'm gonna tempo for eight, okay? So again, today it's all about the kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a free weight. And you don't have to use anything if you don't want to. Are you ready? Tempo right here, here we go. Eight, squeeze the glute, but don't arch the back at the type. So hinging is what it's all about when it comes to kettlebell swinging. And again, that power from the hip. Last two, last one. Now give me a squat down. Slow down two, bring it back up. Slow down two. Bring it back up nice and slow. You got it. Put the weight into the heels, drive from the heels. Awesome. Are you ready? Four more slow, four. Just priming all those moves we're gonna use. Awesome, guys. Squeeze the glute at the top. Remember, keep that spine nice and tall. Last one. Now, tempo for eight squats, okay? Eight, seven. So remember, if you don't have a dowel, you can just take those hands and again, place them behind that head, okay? Last two, last one. Now shift side, shift, bring it center. Keeping it slow, shift with the hinge. Keep the feet straight ahead, nice and slow. Good control, good little hinge. Awesome. You got it. Let's go four more slow. Four, awesome. Three, you got it. Nice long spine. Last one. Are you ready now? Tempo for eight for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, last two. Then just step back into a lunge right here. 
eight, seven. Nice and long through that spine. Now again, some people may not feel comfortable with that dowel because of the range of motion through their shoulders. Last two, last one. Now take it, just shift and shift up. So really opening through that side body. Awesome, guys. Beautiful. You got it. Let's go four more of those. Four, three, last two, last one. Now one more time, just give me four, three, last two, last one. Bring it in again, rotate. So remember, if you don't have a dowel, just taking the hands behind that head. Now hinge, just four, three, last two, then just squat tempo for four. Four, three, last two, last one. Side lateral, shift, shift, shift. Then give me that little lunge back right here. Shift it, shift it. Nice 90 degrees. We'll go four more of those. Last four, four, three, Last two, last one. Then center it up again. Last time, press, press. Awesome. Shifting, shifting. You got this, you guys. Oh yes, you're awesome. Last two, last one. Relax. Dropping that dowel, nice and easy. Just give me a little march. Give me a little squat side to side. A little squat out, a little squat out. You got it. Now give me eight more of those. So we're gonna sit those squat hips back and down. You got it. Let's go last four. Then I'm gonna go into a little bit of a swing motion that we use with that kettlebell. Okay, last two, last one. So it's all about the hip hinge. Hinge, squeeze, hinge. Power through the hips, down, squeeze, down, squeeze, breathe. So you want to really drive from the hips, squeeze from the hips. You got it. Let's go side again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two. Let's hinge it again right here. Hinge. Squeeze. Let those hips come back. You got it. Four, three, last two, last one. Now let's take it down. We'll take it down. We'll do our step out. Love these ones. Bring it in. Bring it up and squat. You got it. Down, out, out, in, in. Just two more. You got it. Down, out, out, in. Beautiful. One more time. Awesome, guys. We got this. Okay, take it back down again. So set that plank, keep that core nice and strong. Just drive that foot in front, rotate it out again. Back center, center plank out. Bring the leg in front, little rotation. Just two more times, down and out. Bring it in, give that wrist a little bit of a circle. Back down, out, bring it in, little circle, bring it out. Now just take it to that down dog, just press it. You got it. Now nice and easy, if you're comfortable slowly, just roll up one vertebra at a time, roll the shoulders. Awesome guys, okay. So I'm gonna pick up my kettlebell. We're gonna go through this complex. And if you don't have a kettlebell, pick up a free weight. Same thing, if you don't wanna use anything, you don't have to use anything. I better move my dowel a bit more so I don't crash. So I'm gonna start with a hinge, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of a three exercise put together in one, okay? So again, one hinge, one row, and a two rotation press. So it looks like this, hinge, row. Bring it up, rotate. Rotate, bring it back down. Little hinge, one row, 
Power through the hip up. Drive it. Drive it. So nice and comfortable with that wrist. So I'm just going with a 10 pound kettlebell. You can go whatever weight is comfortable for you and you know you're not compromising your form. That's it. Press. We're gonna go eight of these, okay? That's four. Hinge, row. Power through the hip up. Rotate, pivot through that toe. You got it. Hinge, row. Power through the hip. Push, rotate. Awesome, you guys. Here we go. Hinge, squeeze, long spine. Beautiful. That's it. So nice hinge, squeeze the shoulder blade right around the spine. Good pivot. Let's go two more like that. Here we go. Hinge, row. Bring it up, pivot. Pivot one more time. Good hinge, single row. Power through the hip up. Rotate it. Now I'm gonna go through a little swing. So I'm gonna swing through and side. Just like we did that swing in that warm up, okay? Doesn't have to be fast, but you want that power through the hip. So good hinge back, good drive through the hips. Awesome. Same thing, if you don't want any weight, don't use it. Four. Beautiful. Whew. Let's go four more, nice and light. Four. Three. Two. Gotta watch myself here. <laughs> Last one. Now set yourself into a lunge. We're gonna lunge back. We're gonna swing side to side, just shifting out. Nice and comfortable. So just switch it in the air. You got it. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. We got this, you guys. Four. Oh yeah. Having fun now. Two. Last one. Go out to the other side. Hinge it again. Hinge. Row. Power through the hip up. Drive up. Drive up. Back to the center. Hinge. One row. Power through the hip up. Through. You got it. That's two. Let's go six more. Hinge. Single row. Power through the hip up. Rotate. Nice and easy. Hinging. Squeeze it. Power up. Woo! Remember you got this, guys. It's about you, so take it at your pace. As I said, you can do this with a free weight, or you can do it with nothing at all, and just use the movement. Woo! Oh yes, two more. Hinge, row. Power up, pivot. Hitting all those planes of action. Hinge, row, power it up, pivot. Are you ready? Here we go again. Side. Power through the middle. Side. Power through the middle. Hinging. Right here. Beautiful. You got it, guys. Woo! Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Awesome. Two. One more to go. Woo! You got it. Set it. Lunge out. Shift through that lunge. Nice and comfortable for you. Go team, go. Whatever you do, don't let go. Oh yeah. That's it, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whoo, two. Last one, nice and light, set it up. Holding that nice and easy. So we're gonna hinge down twice and power with the squat thrust, so it goes. One, stay with the hinge. We'll stay with the hinge for a second. So keeping that hinge, let's go for two more. One, two, we're gonna bring it up, squat, 
thrust, then hold it. Hinge twice, drive it up, squat thrust, then hold. We gotta pause there. So hinge, squeeze, drive it up, squat thrust, hold. Hinge two, you got it. Bring it up and hold. Let's go four more. Beautiful. Squeeze the glutes at the top, bring it up. Drive it and hold it. Awesome, you guys. Woo! We got two more. Hinge, squeeze it. Drive it up. Press it in and hold. One more. Bring it in. Drive it up. Now hold. Now give me a squat press. Out and in. Now option is to get rid of the weight and just use the arms. A lot of core work here. We want to keep that body upright, okay? Let's go four more. You got it. Three. Awesome. Two. Last one. Now tempo right here. Eight. Seven. Same thing. If you don't want that weight, just use the arms. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now bring it in. Give me a side. Side. Slow in. We'll keep this one slow. Side. Hinge. Bring it in. So we want to keep that weight close to the body. Nice hinge. Keep those shoulders stacked. You got it. Beautiful. Slow. Bring it in. Drive through. Awesome. Good. Squeeze at the top. Breathe. Squeeze. Oh, we're having fun now. Let's go eight more slow like that. Eight. Awesome. Seven. Last six. Keeping that chest up. Five. Whew. Okay, four more to go, guys. Four. Beautiful. Three. Last two. Awesome, one more to go. Okay, now I'm gonna do one more exercise. We're gonna swing through, so it looks like this. Between the legs, then hold, pause for a second. Hinge through the legs, pause for a second. So it's a hinge, drive through, pause for a second. Hinge, drive, you got it. We're gonna keep it slow, four more. Four, beautiful, three. That's it, looking good guys, two. Woo! Now I'm gonna tempo. If you don't want the tempo, keep it slow. This is about you, okay? So tempo right here. You got it. Woo! Awesome, guys. That's it. Two more. Last one. Then bring it center. Pop. Pop. So power through the hips. Hinge it back. Four. Squeeze those glutes. You got it. Can we go eight more? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Dropping it. Nice and easy. Finishing it with a little upright row. Awesome, guys. You got it. Woo! That's it. Four more. Four. Keeping the elbows slightly lower than shoulder height. That's it. One more set of swings. Here we go. 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 Beautiful. Hinge. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Now drive it nice and easy, lower it down. Take it in, pick it up, let's take it to the floor, okay? So it's just nice and easy. We're gonna take it onto our back, keeping those knees and ankles in line. 
we're gonna take the arms up nice and easy. So we're gonna take the hips up. We're gonna go in, and then we'll take the arms over the head. Hips up, arms come back. Arms up, squeeze. So nice and easy, let's do that together, okay? So we're down and up, nice and gentle. Down over the head and up, squeeze. And now if you don't wanna use any weight, you don't have to. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Nice, good control. Keeping that core strong, keeping those ribs nice and flat. Awesome. Four, three, two, last one, nice and light. Now hold, release those hips back down. Keep that core strong, bring the legs up nice and easy. Now I'm gonna give you an option. You can keep that weight right here. You can just drop the heels wherever you're comfortable or else you can take the leg out and hold that weight or you can option out and challenge it even more. Or else you can change it again to a shorter lever with the heel. You don't have to use any weight, but you want to focus on pulling that core down. So go where you're comfortable, okay? So if you don't want anything, you can bring it here. You can also opt out to that dead bug with a straight leg or the drop heel or just with the heels, okay? So go where you are comfortable. Nice and comfortable for you. So nice, slow moves out. Awesome guys, squeezing. Bring it back to the center. We're gonna bring it up and out. So a little tempo and out. Tempo, back out. Squeeze the glutes, back out. Four more, four, three. Awesome. Two, keeping that core nice and strong. Last one. Awesome, hold it out again. So same thing, option, right here, right here. You got it, right here. Again, or you can shorten the lever. Same thing, option is, is to do both arms with one leg. Opt out to op opposite, opt out to shorter lever. Go where you're comfortable, okay? Beautiful. Let's go eight more, so eight more. Eight, beautiful, wherever you're comfortable. Seven, awesome. Six, five, four more. Three, beautiful. Last two, one more, one more. Then we did it. Awesome guys, just dropping that weight to the side. Nice and easy, just taking those arms over the head. Nice and gentle, bring the knees into the chest, bring those arms underneath. Just give it a big hug, take a big breath and we're just gonna slow it down. All right guys, just circling out those little ankles. Just nice and gentle. We'll just slow everything right down. And then circle them the other way. Beautiful. And then just nice and easy, we're gonna release those legs to the side. And we're just gonna take that one leg, we're gonna cross it over. And we'll bring it slowly into us towards a figure, fig, the figure four position. Now, if you're not comfortable with this, you can keep it right here. Again, if you're feeling it through those hip rotators, this is just fine. So take it where you're comfortable. If you're bringing it into this position, we want to make sure the pelvis stays on the floor. And then just taking some big breaths in, just relaxing nice and gentle. Really opening up. And then slowly releasing. We're going to take that other leg and we're going to cross that one directly over top. And same thing, just nice and gentle, just bringing it in towards you. Again, same thing, if you're comfortable here with that stretch, that's as far as you need to bring it. So just taking some big breaths, just really breathing into the muscle and letting it release. And closing your eyes, if you want to close your eyes, just nice and easy. And 
and slowly releasing that leg. We're gonna take both legs out, we're gonna take the arms over the head, and we're just gonna really stretch from our fingers to our toes, nice and easy, just really reaching from one end of the room to the next. Just taking a big breath, and then we're gonna slowly bring the arms to the side, and we're gonna bring those arms, those legs in to, uh, towards us, and we're gonna rock ourselves up nice and slowly. And we're gonna bring ourselves into a 90-90 position. We're gonna keep the hands behind us and we're just gonna slowly pivot through. So I'm gonna hold you on this position and I'm just gonna reach you up so you really open up through the anterior chain and those hips. And then slowly releasing that leg, that arm and then switching those legs to the other side. And again, just slowly reaching and opening up. Taking big breaths here slowly release, shifting to the other side. Do that one more time each side. And then slowly reaching up. I'm taking some big breaths here. You guys were awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. And then slowly down and releasing to the other side. And bringing it back up. Awesome. There's so many options to anything. You don't have to use any weight. You can use a free weight. You can use a kettlebell. Again, you can use your body weight. Slowly release, bringing those legs into a cross-legged position. Now, if you're not comfortable in a cross-legged position, you can bring your legs in front of you, wherever you're comfortable. You can sit on a chair. And again, we're just going to take that one arm. We're going to reach over, just opening up through that side body, nice and gentle. Good reach. And then one more big inhale up. And then exhale to the other side, nice and gentle. big breath up exhale down just take your hand towards the opposite side and a nice spinal twist just keeping that body nice and long like you've got a string from the top of your head and one more big breath and we'll switch to the other side nice gentle rotation nice and long through that spine and then just bringing it back to the center shaking all those shoulders Relaxing them down, just take that head to the side. Nice and gentle. And slowly to the other side. Just one more time each way. Beautiful. And then last time. And just bringing it back up. One more stretch. We're going to take those arms and we're going to cross them in. Now, if you can't grab your hands, you can always be right here. You want to pull the shoulders away from the ears. Nice and gentle, opening up to the back of the shoulder. And again, the middle back, just taking some big breaths. And then exhale, and slowly rotate the other side, and slowly again, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, just opening up through the middle back, and closing your eyes, and just focusing on that breath. And one more big breath, and slowly unravel, give those shoulders a shake, take a big breath through your nose, Exhale through your mouth. One more shake. Awesome job, you guys. You were awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to subscribe. Tell your friends. If you like it, ring that bell. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.